Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So, you know, got my paperwork and I'm ready, 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 ready. Ready to go to, on my way to South Carolina. See, I'm telling you, no matter what they do, no matter how far they send me, I'm not complaining, okay? I am not. I'm going to knock these runs out today, today, today. I got two runs, so more likely if I finish early, I know they're going to give me a third. But, what we say, no rush, no complain, okay? And this is what I'm telling people, take chances in life to reach to your goal. Dreams come true if you put action in it. Just remember, don't think you're going to constantly be dreaming, dreaming, dreaming and don't put no action in it. So we all got to put action. Put some action in our dream. And we see our dreams start to manifest. All right? Right now I reach my truck. My truck is right here. Properly strapped down and ready to go. So I'm going to knock this out. I'm going to Rock Hill, South Carolina. Yesterday I went to Rock Hill, South Carolina twice. But I might get some fuel. If this fuel can carry me down to Rocky South Carolina and bring me back. That'll be good. I think it might. It might. But we're about to go to the truck. Not this run out. And then you know it goes. Alright? See you guys in a few. So we finish unload. Finish unload now. Alright. This is my first stop. Rock Hill, South Carolina. All right, but you know something come to me, and it been crossing my mind that too much of us we fear, and fear is a dream killer. Fear kill hope. Fear make you unhappy. I'm just saying, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Uplift yourself, man. All right, motivate yourself. Only you alone can be a dream killer for your own dream. Because the moment you say you can't, every can't is a sluggard. That's what my mama say. So I'm just saying this. Step out the first step you make. That is very important. And continue making those steps. Remember, life is a journey, not a destination. So continue, okay, to achieve your dreams and your goals. Continue. Let nothing get in your way. Listen, let me say something to you. Sometimes we fail, but don't. When I say don't, don't. Listen, let me, let, let me go in the light. Let me say this to you. Early in the morning, man, I'm feeling like, you know, what I'm saying to you about this. When you fail, take failing as a stepping stone. Let nothing at all stop you from achieving your goal. We all can make it if we just make that one step. That one step is very important. Not just make one step and stop, continually. Journey, all right? journey with me okay i'm telling you we, we all can do this man we all can do this all right we can achieve our goals in life i'm telling you see i'm here finish unload my first my first uh, verse drop gotta go back which is 47 minutes and i'm spending 47 minutes of my time or a couple minutes of my time to encourage a brother or a sister who's watching i'm just saying listen like share and subscribe hit that notification bell so when i post a video you'll be the first one to be notified tell a friend to tell a friend the great dane 876 trucking is here to stay
right? I'll speak to you. These are the people that are down and out. These are the people that are complaining. These are the people that are blaming the world and everybody for where they are. But if they took that same energy and begin to invest and give something back to life. I was in New Jersey and I had to give a, a political presentation to a group there that were trying to organize a community to begin to revitalize that particular community. And a guy was telling me very proudly we were walking through a housing project. He said the city is about to give $55 million to renovate these housing projects. I said, what are what? He said, why would you say that? I said, let me ask you something. And the person that was standing next to him, I said, do you live in this building? He said, yes. I said, how many families live here? He said, six families. I said, we walked in the door, and we can smell the stench of urine. Does it take a genius to go down to the store, perhaps sacrifice buying three packs of cigarettes, and buy some Tide or soap and water, and come back here and wash this stench out of here? Does it take a genius to get a can of paint and paint over the graffiti and repair the mailbox? Does it take a genius for that? I say to you, you pour the money in these housing projects and you don't change the people that are living in the projects before you've completed them, be right back to where they were before. If it is to stand, and I'm not saying that there aren't situations where people need some help and assistance, but people must be allowed to contribute. Here's something else you're going to discover, Gideon. Something that's very important. Give thanks. Giving thanks creates power. Give thanks for your house, give thanks for your pocket, for your car, for your family, for your health, for your relationships, for what you have. When we focus on something, it expands. When you're giving thanks, when you're showing the spirit of gratitude for what I got, not that you're satisfied with it, but you're grateful for what you got. Whatever you focus on, that's what you're going to continue to multiply and expand in your life. But if you focus on what you don't have, if all you can do is point out the negative things in your life, whatever you focus on, you're going to expand that. Some people, all they can do is complain. That's all they can do. They can't find anything to say good about life or about anybody else. Every time they open their mouths, that's what their minds are consumed with, and that's all they're producing in their lives. And these are people that you don't want to be around. Develop a spirit of gratitude. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful to be an American. I'm thankful to be on this part of the planet. I'm thankful to see another day. No, things aren't what I want them to be. No, I don't have all the things I want to have. But I'm thankful that I'm still here. I have another opportunity, another day to live, another chance to contribute, another chance to make a difference in life. So begin to give thanks for what you have. Whatever you focus on, Remember now, you want to become aligned and work the universe. If you have scarcity in your life, it's because you have a consciousness of scarcity. As you begin to become thankful for what you have, but the abundance that you now know is coming your way, that you're attracting to you, of a good relationship that is coming your way right now, it will begin to create incredible opportunities for you to begin to improve your life and the quality of life of people around you. Giving is also, ladies and gentlemen, for giving. Give forgiveness. Many of us do not realize that we cannot grow, that we are blocking ourselves, we are blocking our good in the universe. We're literally standing in the way of the flow of what life has for us because we haven't learned how to forgive. We haven't learned how to let things go so we can get on with our lives. When we forgive, ladies and gentlemen, it's not for the other person. Oh, no. It's for you. It's not for them, not because they deserve it or they earned it. You're forgiving other people. First of all, you've got to forgive yourself. But when you forgive other people, it is mentally and spiritually healthy to forgive. To let that luggage go, as Paul said, forgetting those things which are behind. Reaching forward to those things which are before. Oh, we hear it, but it's hard to do. It's hard. What you have is enough. Whatever you have to give. And the more you give, the more you realize you have to give. And we all have to. There are people who made the supreme sacrifice for us to enjoy freedoms that we take for granted. Oh, none of us, none of us can feel that we have nothing to give back.
about your situation, your circumstances. If you do what is easy, stand around and be a volunteer victim like everybody else. If you do what is easy, surrender and give up on your dreams. Become depressed and bitter and angry. Anybody can do that. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, keep coming back again and again and again. If you do what is hard, approaching strangers, talking to people in shopping malls, get up dressed every day, going out prospecting, knowing some way, somehow, with a spirit of expectation, somebody's out here looking for an opportunity. You can go outside right now and see some pigeons, but you're out hunting for eagles, and they're not common. And if you do that over and over and over again, somebody's going to show up. Somebody's going to say, I'm the one. Remembering what Dr. Robert Anthony said. This is my second run now here at this place here, tight. This is close. Try to avoid hitting anything at all. I'm just motivated today. I'm just motivated. get unloaded for our second run they're going to use this big machine yeah to unload me so I got no problem as long as I get off my truck as long as I get off my truck I'm good I'm going to take out that first one first yeah This one now and then we're free to go after this. So we're ready. We got like two stops on this. We're just gonna knock this out and finish the day. Victory! Victory! Yeah. Just gonna knock this out and finish the day. Yeah, and call it a day, call it a day, call it a day, call it a day, early day. So properly strapped and secure. Two stop. Harrisburg and Concord. Yeah, and always come back. Hey! Yeah! Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> okay? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Knock this out. Call it a day! <laughs>